In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the ways you can format your chart and an overview of the chart options tool. For simplicity, I have a volume weighted average price chart for the company Apple, and I want to customize the graph, add a little bit of information and make it more presentable to other users. By default, this is what most of the charts will show. And as by most, I'm talking mainly about time series data charts. You have the dark gray screen, first data point in blue and the Y axis formatted on the right, all very standard. And I just want to add a few changes to this. I have two main options for ways to customize the chart. I can either select the chart options icon up at the top of my toolbar here, or right click on the graph and select from one of the drop down menu options displayed here. Both of these will do the same formatting action. The right click click might be the faster option if you know what you want to do, but I'm going to press the chart options to give a run through of the different options available. Once I've done this, I'm presented with five different formatting and customization options. The first one is dates, and here is where I can customize the data range of the data. I can use a drop down menu to select a preset time range, or for more specific ranges, I have the calendar option here. If I use the calendar drop down list, I can base the period on a five or seven day format. I can also choose it on the trading calendar from around the world. By default, the chart frequency is dependent on the data range. I can customize this from daily to year to date. The next tab is the Y axis, and here is where I can customize how the Y axis is presented in the chart. The default or automatic setting displays the axis on the right. I can toggle this to display it on the left, both sides, or just have it not displaying at all with the hidden option. I can customize the currency of the chart and what it displays using the tab here. The default is local, and if I have a multiple series on my plot, then I can use the series currency override option to display different currencies for each series. A very useful tool, the next one is the annotations tab, and this allows me to plot labels on the graph data. On the left is the annotation library, and I have a large set of options, including corporate actions, M&A activity, and many more. For my graph, I'll add dividend to it, and I could do some further customization by changing the marker icon displayed as well as its size and color. The text of the annotation can also be adjusted with the options here. The final tab allows me to add charts labels to the end. I have the options between the latest value or the identifier name. Once I'm happy with this, I only need to click OK and it will add all my changes. My chart now has the updates. I chose the dividend as my annotation for the graph. If I wanted, I could have added more and I can select the annotations for further detail on recent actions of the identifier in my chart. The display box here will open. Changing the style of the chart can make the data much more presentable. You may want to keep a consistent theme throughout your charts. For this, you only need to go to the tools option and select change style set. And this will provide you with a range of options. Factset provides an array of pre-built custom styles that you can add in. Alternatively, any custom styles created by Factset at your request can be saved to your workstation and inputted from your personal or client folder, depending on where you've saved it. 